my name is Sarah Odeli Anderson and I am counting down the days till I become Mrs. Sarah Azurike Ikechiku. <laughs> None of that hyphenated blah 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 for me. Are you pregnant? Ah ha 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 all right. So, okay. See you. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Go <laughs> See ya. Bye. Come in. Come in, open. Hello, Sarah. Auntie. Where's your boyfriend? Husband. Husband to be auntie. Okay. He's gone for a meeting. <sighs> so? Thank you for keeping this. When are you going to tell him about your condition? <laughs> Let us be real, auntie. He doesn't want to know. Are you sure you love him? Are you sure he loves you? You're going through this again? If the answer to my questions is yes, then you have to tell him. They say love conquers all. <laughs> like it did you, Auntie. Like how love conquered all for you. Your husband died and left you at the mercy of your relatives. Did love conquer all for you, Auntie? Huh? So please, don't dish out to me what you can't take. Can you just put it on us? But he's a good man. Yes. And this good man has good options. Did you know that he still communicates with his ex-wife? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that means it's very likely, it's very possible that he still has feelings for her. Now, if I go ahead and tell him about this, this curse, that was him running back to her, and I don't want to be left. I don't know what is going to happen. other friend is here yet. I, I promise I'm coming. I'll be there soon, okay? I promise I'm coming. I said I'm coming. Trust me when I say I'm coming, okay? Ah, okay. Oh.
I miss. Don't tell me I drowned like three bottles in like 10 minutes. I must have waited here for like an hour. Waiting. Come on. You're going to burn all that in the gym. So all the carbs and all the calories. I burned them off in the gym, right? Uh -huh. So, what's up? Okay. So you know I resigned my job. Yeah. Um, because I felt like I was helping someone else build their business. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't my job. Okay. So, I went to a catering school and I started a catering business, which I had no business with in the first place. It was as if I learned, I went to school to learn how to overfeed. <laughs> yeah. But, Eureka, mm. I have another business idea. You don't say. Yes. Pray so, tell. I want to be making clothes for plus size women like me. Petit women like you and clothes Thank you. for my other friend. That's amazing. Like, great. Like, yeah. right? <laughs> so, you're not going to change your mind tomorrow? No. This is for this real, is for real. Like, this is it. For real, for real. This is it. Like, I intend to get fabrics that will sit well and women of my body. Hello. Yes, Azu, I did. Kind of people that have my kind of body. And then your kind of body. Okay. Because <laughs> that, you know, that, that you know. Accent sweet you know, big girl. Even it. I know that. So. Yes. <laughs> but I'm so, happy for you. Yeah, really. that's the business I'm doing right hmm, now. So, okay. yeah. What do you mean by what am I doing here? I'm here to see the kids just as I mentioned in the message I sent to you. Where your message contained court date. Yes, and at the end of that message I said I'll be stopping by after work to see the kids. Well, the kids are asleep. Why don't you just give me a moment to give this, this gift to them personally? As, a, as your wife, I waited up for you 8, 9, 10, 11 p.m. and even 1, 2, 3 a.m. because it was my duty. You don't expect our children to do the same for you. Okay, fine. Would you at least give this to them for me and give them my love as well.
Move this. Hey, move this for me. Oh. <sighs> the children. I don't even I don't even know what confuses me the more to come on. If it's me or the children. I am not myself. I'm sorry I got angry with you. I should have at least asked how you're doing. How are you? I'm okay. No, no you're not. I'm fine. No, you're not. What? You are right. No, I'm not fine. I put my life on hold to raise my family. Twelve years. Twelve years to come up. In, in, in my what do I get in return? A traditionally returned bride price and a court date fixed to legally dissolve my marriage. <laughs> and that's why you need to get a life. You need to get doing something. That's why I'm bringing you in on this next phase of our lives. Women love clothes. Look at you. You remember you used to be plus size? You literally look like a model now, after two kids. You could begin to inspire women about their confidence and make them love their body more. <laughs> yes. have to say nice things to me. I'm already on your team. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. I, at least you know that I'm not flattering you. Okay. So. Remove your glasses. Wipe off your tears. Smile. We're going to have a productive day. Oh, yes yeah, she is. And meet my friend. Sarah from NYC. Hi, Anne. Sarah. Um, you two know each other? Great. <laughs> so that means we're going to have a cohesive meeting together. Remember I said we're going to have a productive meeting, right? <laughs> I don't think so, Tukumbo. What is she doing here? She's on our team. I thought you said the thing was two of us. That was what you said to me. I could just go. No, 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 no need for that. And whatever it is that is causing this tension on what I thought was going to be the first meeting of the next generation of fashion idols has to be resolved now. Clearly you both know each other and even clearly there is something going on that has to be resolved now. Speak up. Look, Anne, I know you think that on the night before our department's competition that I broke into your box and stole your clothes and then ripped the rest to pieces. I didn't. Engagement ring on sale. Good luck with that. Well, I see we're making progress, aren't we? Mm -hmm. I didn't go so well. Do you mind sharing? Where do I even begin from? I've known Anne since I was nine years old and we just never clicked the first time we met was in sunday school and we were fighting now 12 years down the lane in university we meet again and we are still fighting like every other two weeks in university we're always fighting 
it's almost like a karmic account like you just meet someone and two of you for some reason you can't see never click that's me and her i don't know how two nine-year-olds do not like each other and never connect Anne is a sweet girl it's just that she's going through divorce right now <laughs> well i'm sorry to hear after 12 years of not working or using a degree because her husband said so. 12 years of building a family and raising her children. He wakes up one money and returns at right price. So I'm sure that Anne is not thinking about all those things that happened 12 years ago. You both were growing women then and you're both grown women now. Wow. About to enter into a business that you're going to share the profit into three. I guess I could work on it. I maybe the next time I would apologize to her what for you, what would you be apologizing for? Just be nice next time. Be nice. Yes. What is going on here? Why is the TV on? Alexis! Katie! Come out here! Why is it that the first thing I get to see is a dump house? What is wrong with the both of you? We were doing an assignment. Then Katie said she was hungry, so I went to go and make lunch. Did I ask you to give me a response? Eh? Did I ask you to answer me? You were just like your father, only speaking when no one asked you. We're sorry, mommy. I'm sorry. Hello, Anne. You want to come around? Oh, yeah, sure. Sarah is here. That was Anne. She hung up. Shocking. Mm -hmm. So, is she coming? With the way she hung up, I'm not sure. Mm. Typical. So, chocolates? my house. <laughs>
Hey, honey, what's up? I'm on my way, really. I've been waiting for you all day. Where are you? My love, Obim, sweet team, honey. <laughs> mm, you don't do. <laughs> okay, so, we had a long but productive day, Tukumba and I, and I am driving home as we speak honestly. Honestly. Okay, I'm, I'm really hungry right now, but I'll wait for you. I was with my wife. Sorry, my ex-wife. Well, the papers have been signed and now I am officially separated. You did? I'm really hungry. Should I wait for you? Yes, babe. I love you. I love you too. Suddenly, thanks for calling me back. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. How is Sarah doing? Is she still uh, sick? Oh, you know, it's been a while, so I thought we could reconnect. Are you serious? Wow. Yeah, 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 sure. Hope she's on our meds, you know. What? I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Nobody should be looking for me on any social media. What's that? And they should stay on their own lane now. I'll stay on my own. They shouldn't even try me. Hello, Sarah. Hey, Mimi. I'm so glad you were able to join us. <clears throat> Thanks for having me. I know I was a ass the other day. <laughs> yes, you were actually. <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay, so I was just joking. I'd like to use this opportunity to um, formally apologize for the past. Oh, there is no need to apologize. Oh, yes, yes. Um, we were just young women growing up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. 
See, that was easy. <laughs> no, I see why you guys are friends. Like, you guys think alike. <laughs> so, you are getting married soon? Yes. To the love of my life in the next three months. <laughs> Look, isn't it crazy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> So beautiful, it's really nice. So if you came here to party, let me see your hands up. Your hands up. Your hands and if you came here to feel like it, put your hands up. Your hands up. You all the fine, fine lady. All the very fine lady. I go again, say to all the fine, fine ladies. Show up, show up. The girl and boyfriend, them bun up, bun up. Cause girl, you're pretty and you're nice. Be feeling on your ties. You need a rude boy in your life. Cause me, I fit to pay the price. Me, not fit to your lies. I fit to make you be my wife. Oh, if you're willing to ride with me, come along, sip some gin with me. We'll party cause we're wild. You know what? What? We should hang out one night. Mm. What do you think? Now that's what I'm talking mm. about. Cheers. 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 <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, look at you. I mean, it's time already for you to put yourself out there and find yourself a really fine, classy gentleman. Mm -hmm. I mean, with all that Beauty, body brings, sketches, you deserve the very best. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> wow, your friend is crazy <laughs> to come on. I, mean I thought we were all friends right now. <laughs> Look, I'm not here to make friends, okay? I know I've been spending a lot of time alone and I just need to get out there. But having spent this past 10 days with you girls, it has made me happier. And I'm sorry I hurt your feelings, Sarah. No, good boy. Who's that? 
Good afternoon, ma'am. Because I'm looking for Mrs. Anne. Miss Anne. Oh, sorry. Um, actually, these packages are for um, Miss Alexis and uh, little Miss uh, Katie. It's from uh, Mr. Azuri Kichuku. And he's wishing um, Miss, little Miss uh, Katie a happy birthday. So would you have this and uh, this? And do you mind signing here? How dare you, Azul? How dare you send gifts and toys to my children? So material things are supposed to make up for the love and attention you ought to show to them personally. Where are you? Obviously doing nothing. Yet you could not deliver it yourself. You are a useless man. As you are a useless man, you hear me? Hello? Hello? Useless man. Show for your kids, no! I thought you'd be <laughs> excited to want to get ready for... What's wrong? No, I... My ex-wife is right. I, I should spend more time with my children and tomorrow is my daughter's birthday. Yeah, bud. Um, hello, your meeting with the Barnes and Sons Limited is a very important business meeting and I know you want to be there. So can we reschedule with you? I'd rather have the meeting with them tonight and meet with my children tomorrow. Okay. Well, I guess family is more important, of course. And yeah, we could reschedule the business meeting. Yeah, I'm sure. And that would give me an opportunity to bond with your kids. I could take them shopping, have lots of fun, and do everything I've always wanted to do. Really? Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> you know what I think? I'll see them tomorrow and make a plan for weekend. How about that? Okay, <laughs> okay, sounds like a plan, Mr. Husband Toby. <laughs> Oh, God. So, you're the serving here. <laughs> <laughs> what? The nerve of him. He wouldn't show up during weekdays. And weekends, no sign of him. I wonder, what does he even do with his time? You know the annoying part? He will send toys. Toys, Sarah, toys! As if toys play a role in raising daughters. And you know what I'm hearing you say? I'm hearing you say that you need to speak up with your ex-husband. You need to tell him how you feel. Because if it was me, he would face fire, brimstone, snow, hail, everything, the entire works. I mean, how can someone be so self-centered, be so care only about himself? What about his kids? Men are selfish, Sarah. <laughs> Not all men. It took me 14 years, 12 years of marriage out of that 14 to find out. You have to come to terms with us before you get married. Men will take and take and take from you. And you will give and give and give, believing in love, believing in time that things will change. They will not. 
You keep giving and giving and giving until the life is sucked out of you. Okay, brother So pressure. what did I miss? A lot of depressing stuff. Wow. Well, well, well. So you didn't come with more gifts? Look, Anne, I didn't come here to fight you. I came to see the girls. They are asleep. Okay. Can I come for them tomorrow? They have inter-house sport practice. You said they had inter sport practice two weeks ago. You said that again last week, and you're telling me again that they have inter sport practice. Well, it's the truth. Okay, fine. Let's come to a compromise, okay? When can I have them for the weekend? After their inter house sport. That's like one month from now. Well, Mr. Big Man, if you had the time to come pick them up and drop them, they would have this conversation. Until then, let me undo their timetable. My children are the stars of their school, and those things are important to them. Okay, I'm sorry I was busy, but I will try and make out time. <laughs> As, so you can make out time? Okay, tell me, what are you going to do? Get a babysitter? My fiancé will take care of them. You... What? I'm getting married now. So, you washed me up and egged me up to dry like this. Fourteen years. Two children. Did you ever love me? Did you ever love our children? You could just move on so fast and so coolly. Listen, Anne. Get out! Leave my house before I kill somebody. Get out! Yes, baby. When are you going to stop taking from me? What do you mean by that? You asked me to get on birth control. You asked me to put pursuing my master's degree on hold. I mean, when is it ever going to be enough? Will it ever be enough? Babe, we're getting married in a few months' time. Yeah, but what if the kids don't come immediately? I mean, why do I have to be the one tailoring my life to fit your typical African lifestyle? Why, why, why? Come on, babe, we can trust this situation out. Very simple. If you give birth, we we employ a nurse or a babysitter to take care of the kids while you study. I would get another woman to raise my kids. Wait, wait, so... What if I decide to study abroad? What then? The same process applies. Be please. My ex-wife has given me a lot of headache today. Please, I just need to rest. So wait, 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 wait. The same process will happen as in 
the lady will come here and raise my kids um, when I'm far away in another country and she'll believe. Oh, <laughs> could you just tell me to give you permission now to, 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 to get a living mistress? Abby? What's that supposed to mean? Now, what do you take me for? Exactly what it means. You know what? Just good night, I beg. Fine, good night. Good night, you good too. Night. Good night. Good night. If your sister is having allergies or feeling unwell, I am the only one you should call. Me! Me! Not your father! He doesn't care about us. He left us. He left you. He left her. Both of you. Why would you call him? Alexis! Come back here, Alexis! Alexis! Hey, my baby. What? What is it? What's wrong? Mommy wants to beat me. Don't worry. Mommy won't beat you. What are you doing here? I will not let you take my daughters away from me. Of course I'm not. I'm not here to take anybody away. C can we please talk? Look, baby. Can you wait for me upstairs? I'll come upstairs to see you. Wait for me. Alexis, go upstairs. Baby, just go upstairs. My friend, could you move upstairs? You need to be more gentle with her. You don't tell me how to raise my daughter, okay? She's my daughter as well. Don't let me press for custody. Whatever. When the school called, I was busy. You were with her, right? Hey, please. Anne, we've been together for a lot of years now. If we cannot be friends, at least let us respect each other. Fine, I was busy when this unknown number called me. And when I had the time to call back, I realized it was the school. And by the time I got to the school, they didn't only tell me that you're taking the kids, but you told them to never allow me go near my children again, that I was considered harm and dangerous. How could you spin such a lie on me? 
when they confirm that you are taking it back home, I had to go back to, to, to my office. But look, these children are mine as well. You can't just write me off. We don't have just one but two children together. I'm still part of this family. Where did you meet your fiancé? At the gym. Have you told her about us, the children, our kids? Yes. Yes. Did you tell her about us first before you told me? Respect. Azu, I laid under you for 14 years. I tolerated thousands of orgasmless sex. I was stupid for you. Dangerous. That is the best description of you. I'm sorry, okay? I would like you to meet her. I would like the children to meet her. Over my dead body. Get out. Baby, can we not fight? Please. Look, so I've been thinking, and I think that it is time that I get off birth control and start raising a family now. I mean, you yourself said it. We can sort this out. Of course, you're a typical African man, but with a dash of urban thinking this is something we can work out
Hello, how's hey, it going in here? Oh my there. goodness, <laughs> this is so much. I mean, she doesn't need all of this. I, I know, but I'm just trying to broaden the choices, you know, so that, you know, she'll know that I'm capable of taking care of the kids, anything, mm -hmm. today, tomorrow, weekend, maybe forever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm trying to make a good impression, put my best foot forward. No, oh, I see. Yes. You <laughs> Aren't you going to help me? I'll be back, I'll be back. Yeah. By Christmas 2030. Who is it? Hey, baby. Azo, you are not welcome in my home. You are not welcome near my children. I will file for custody today. I'm calling my lawyer. Please wait. If 
before you make that call, someone needs to explain to me what's going on. You must be out of your mind. Useless man. I didn't know you guys are friends. And what is the meaning of this? Oh, please, we are not friends. Else I would have known who she was getting married to. <laughs> that is the psychiatric report and the magazine I found. Let me... I thank God that you are in this position. <laughs> Do you know Sarah? No, let me tell you what I know about Sarah, then you can decide the bigger picture. Two days after I turned nine, Sarah and her aunt moved into town. We later found out that she lost her parents in a fire that nobody knew the cause. But from that very first, Sarah was abusive towards me, hurling insults and mad words at me. Naturally, I returned because I am not someone that would let anybody bully her. But as fate would have it, we attended the same secondary school. Oh, she never hesitated to humiliate me. She will steal from me, mob me, and burn my things. You know, I thought it was just envy. Then, at the university, it turns out that there was no more about Sarah and me. She would not only prey on me, but she was also violent, hostile, and destructive to others. This led her on to believe that there was something wrong with her. Sarah will victimize anybody she feels that is better than her. Sarah victimized certain people whom she felt had what she lacked and craved for. A connected family. How are you doing today? Hmm? Um, we've made commendable progress. You can go home now. Go meet your family, your aunt. She misses you. She tells me this each time she comes to visit you. Hmm? You know, no one wants to lock you up on purpose. You know, right? Okay. Is there anything you want to tell me? True love couldn't find me. It just couldn't. Losing my parents. I never knew what love was. And those past experiences made me violent to people. But thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. I promise that when I leave here, I'm going to be a good person, a good citizen of this country, raising the flag high and proud. You're welcome. It's okay, okay? You're very used to me, you go home, okay? Hello? Madam Adeline? She escaped.
love children come around the psychopath he left us for, then you need to register in the same psychiatric home. So, so with this record, you, you still asked me, you pressurized me into making you go abroad to study? Hey, with, with, with what certificate? Hey, with what certificate? I was going to go back to school and then be... Baby, please, I'm... Can you just leave my home, please? Can you just go? What else are you hiding from me? Nothing. What else are you hiding from me? I wish you to... Good luck. Over what record? Over what record? I know I've done some things to you in the past and I'm very sorry. If I could undo them, I would, but I can't. But what's in the past is in the past. Yes, your ex-husband is the man of my dreams, the man that I truly love. Yes, I am on medication and I am taking my medication diligently. And for the first time in my whole life, I feel so whole. And with your permission, I'm willing to take care of your own kids as if they were mine, as if I gave birth to them myself. But, as it is, Azul has called off our engagement. Hmm. And I need your help. I want you to please speak to him on my behalf. Don't. When I lost my parents and lost everything, I thought life was over. And then he came into my life and I thought everything was perfect. I just, <laughs> so as he left his marriage because you were too hot for him and he went from fry pan to fire. I must confess, our story was really touching. Oh, Anne, did you go looking out for stuff about Sarah so you could tell it to Azu? Did I even know it was Azu in the first place? You know, when you shocked me by telling me that I was going to work with her, of course I had to go looking and her aunt helped me. Seeing now with Azu. <laughs> Coming to the fact that she will be my children's stepmother. <laughs> of course, you don't think I will be comfortable with that, do you? I mean, Azu is a man. He could choose her if he loves her enough. But I'll tell you something. In court, I will make sure that my children stays with me. I, I don't want to imprison him. He can choose whoever he wants to. But you see, my children, they come first. I love them more than anything in the world, even more than him. So the choice is is.
Recipe now. Oh, which one is pay? Are we no friends? Yes, who's it? Babe, hold on. The children went for practice. Come back later. <sighs> Babe, sorry. Yeah, that was as a... Eh, hold on. Alexis, what are you doing here? Who asked you to come out? My friend, go back to the room. <laughs> yeah, 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 thank you. you... Yeah, sorry. Alexis, have you done your homework? Yes, I have. Okay, you can watch TV. You're welcome. <laughs> My small madam, <laughs> you know her. Yeah, she likes to watch TV too much. Okay. said, shut up, <laughs> you're going to the sky. And Katie said, you don't tell me, shut up, you too, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> and the monster said, <clears throat> it's time for you to go. Please, can daddy spend this night for me? No, love. Daddy has lots of important stuff to do. Actually, I don't mind staying. I can stay in the guest room and leave tomorrow. Hmm? <laughs> there are so many rats there. You will be comfortable. Please, please. Sweethearts, don't make me change my mind about taking you to the mall on Saturday. <laughs> be good girls, close your eyes and go to sleep. Don't worry, my angel. I'll come see you tomorrow, and then we'll go to the mall and the park on Saturday. I'll buy you lots of ice cream, lots of chocolate. I know you like chocolate. Yeah. Okay? Good night, darling. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
say good night to Alexis. You already said good night to her. Come on. Don't be like this. Why, why are you doing this to me? Why are you, why are you, why are you refusing me to see my own daughter? Are you tearing us apart. You're breaking us. You tore this family apart first. This is not your house, Azu. You have no right to go into my kitchen. I'm very sorry. Because I, I want to say I'm sorry. Look, I promise to make things right. Okay? Whatever you want, I'll, I'll do it. Whatever your plan is, fine, we'll go with it. I just want to say I'm sorry. And that I, I, I love you. And I can see it in your eyes that you love me too. This is not love. You abused me. You misused me. And you would do this again. No. No. Good night. People should just get back together, Joe. I know I messed up, but I hope that in another time, another place, we'll make things right. And you're gonna fall in love with me again, just as it was. Hey, Tox. How far? 
<laughs> where are you? So what are you doing outside? Come in. Saw you. Don't even give me that smile. Hmm. Shift, 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 shift. You know, God has fought this one for me. Mm. I am tired. I know. I'm sorry. Sorry. I know, right? I'm sorry. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> because we are women. <laughs> That glass. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll make do with yours before you come back. <laughs> yes, no. It's a new beginning.